Hi, I'm Mats, the founder of Grunt. Here at Grunt, we spend a lot of time thinking about how to better visualize your data. And our clients often ask us, what is the best way to visualize time-based data where you have both actuals, budgets, and forecasts all in the same chart? I have to admit, this is quite challenging. Therefore, we have collected what we feel are the best practices, and I'm going to show them to you today. Let's dive in. We have the following chart, and notice that we have some actual values, a budget value, and forecast values. A common mistake is to display everything the same way. I don't recommend this, since it's so hard for your users to understand your data quickly. It doesn't help to highlight the current period with a shape either. Instead, design a system for how to display actual values, budget values, and forecasted values. When you have this visual system in place, stick with it so your audience can learn to recognize it. That makes your charts memorable. I recommend to use the same color for the entire series, but to alternate the patterns. Use a solid fill for actuals, an outline for budget values, and a hatch pattern for forecasts. This method combines aesthetics with functional design, since it's easy for your audience to recognize the different value types quickly. Styling a chart this way might seem like a lot of work, but this is where a tool like Grunt can save you a lot of time and ensure high quality. Let me quickly show you how I would deal with this using Grunt. We have built our guidelines into Grunt in the form of rules. To add a budget rule, start by selecting a series in your chart, then add a budget rule from the menu to the right. The rule gets applied to the entire series. To limit it to a specific category, you can adjust the targets at the bottom of the open dialog. Let's include the budget category as a target. We could have stopped here, but I will give you an advanced tip as well. If you want to make this style reusable, I recommend choosing a dynamic target. I remove the category target, then I'll add a match text target. I will tell Grant to search for data points that end with the letter B for budget in the first row of my data. You see that we are back at the same result we had before, but we now have a dynamic rule. So if I change my data to state that 2021 was a budget value, Grant will style it correctly without my intervention. Now, let's style our forecasts as well. I will duplicate my budget rule and open it. I click the match text target to tell Grant to look for the letter E instead of the B. Then I'll change the style to display the forecast pattern. You can see that the style is immediately updated. There is another beautiful thing about this way of working. If I want to change the color of my chart, I can simply select a series and pick another color. Grunt will then ensure that my style blends well with a new color. I can also copy and paste these styles and apply them to other charts. I do that by right-clicking on the layer icon and choose Copy All. Then I go to another slide with more charts. I select one of the charts and press Ctrl V to paste my rules. I can do this quickly for all my charts. With style applied, you can quickly identify that just two of these charts contained a budget value, which was hard to identify before. I really recommend that you play around with these styles and use them when you have different types of time-based data. Good luck and see you next time.